Hi students, in the video, we will talk about the irrational numbers. Okay? An irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as an ordinary ratio of two integers. If a normal or rational number, we will express 2 by 5, okay? 3 by 2. We will express it. So, the denominator is the same as the denominator. This is a proper fraction, this is an improper fraction. Right? So, we will express it as a rational number. But if we can do the numbers in this number, we can say irrational numbers. Okay, so for example, if you look at an isosceles triangle, isosceles means two sides are equal. So now this side and this side are equal. If you look at the eighth side, you can use the Pythagoras theorem. That's why we use the third side. वैल्यू कंडर पड़ी के परो, द लेंथ तक कंडर पड़ी के परो, ओके वाह, सो इपो इलेवन द बेस वन द ना आज्जसन साइड ओ वन एन बच्चे करे, अद पॉला ऑपोसिट साइड ये वन एन बच्चे करे, इंगेदा निंगे टीटा अर्कन निंच कोंगा, ओके ये रैंगल इस ये, सो अपन हम अपाइता ग्रस्त ये हम यूज़ पनी ना पनो रूट now, this is the hypotenuse, right? So, hypotenuse is equal to root of adjacent square plus opposite square. So, that is equal to 1 square plus 1 square. So, which is equal to 1 plus 1, that is equal to root 2. So, this is 1 square plus 1 square. This is the value of the value. Using root of a square plus opposite square, we have the hypotenuse value of root 2. Now, if we have the whole number of root 2, we can say the natural number of root 2. Or else, we can say the rational number of root 2. Why? Because the rational number of root 2 is a fraction. At the same time, if we divide it, it is terminating. No, it is recurring. Recurring and non-terminating. Okay, these two conditions are the rational number. But, how do you divide root 2 in root 2? Okay, so this is called as irrational number. Okay, so some of the irrational numbers path on I per root 2 1 path on a day for a root 3 per root 3 inger the path in a root of it or a or 3 the root to clear could on a valley had come together but root 3 is also a irrational number. Okay, if a root 4 at the tone it's come like root 4 number one the 2 into 2 near the number 2 a valley at crapo it is one the irrational number number so long with at the root 5. So, root 5 is an irrational number. Root 6. Root 6 is a composite. We have to use 3 into 2. So, 1 is 3 and 1 is 2. It can be used to use the root of the root. So, root 6 is also an irrational number. Likewise, it goes on. Okay, so this is an irrational number. So, irrational number, if you look at it, it is non-terminating. That means, it is the end of it. Zero is the end of it. At the same time, it is recurring. If it is recurring, it is a rational number. Right, it is non-terminating. At the same time, the quotient is the number of repeater. That is recurring. That is a rational number. So, recurring and at the same time, non-terminating is there. So, that is the irrational number. So, if you have a small idea of the number, we will mark a small idea. So, now, how do we mark the root 2 in the number line? Now, if you look at the isosceles triangle, the base is 1 and the height is 1. Okay, then in the one root of one square plus one square, then you root two and cut So, upon base one now, height one now, and in the number line, let the copper. If zero learn the one very one centimeter, so either one then a base in the cran, then height either learn the one centimeter at the cran. If you are correct on the one level, one centimeter, nine at the cran, zero very go. Okay, well, eight at the day, now either one the joint panutra. So, you know, and I keep the hypotenuse. Okay, so this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 2, we will solve the Pythagoras theorem and we will get the root 2. Okay, so what is the number line in the number line? So what do we do? Now, we have to mark the root 2 in the number line. At the same time, we have to mark the root 2 in the number line. So here we have to mark the root 2 in the number line. We have to measure the root 2 in the number line. Bukla pati, na, orang perih circle mari potru panga. Nih, ini, mari ar cut pani kongu, podo. Okey, wa. Sebab ar cut pan rapo, in da erat tulah bandar demi cak de parang. So, in da point da, ungal kipar root two. Puri da. So, apa root two lies between one and two. Okey, wa. So, eperi bandi kido ada value inan pakamu, ti inna kuda ungal kanda, rumba clearan puriyo. Anah, this is the 
representation of an irrational number on the number line okay va ipo root 2 abdingaradhu 1 ku 2 ku nadula varum abdingaradhu dhaan na inge vandu ungalku mention panni kaatirken idhe inge paarengala root 5 eduthukittingana ipo vandu idhu 2 nu base 2 nu idhu 1 nu vechikittona by pythagoras theorem root 2 uh, root of 2 square plus 1 square nu varum right ah that is equal to root of 4 plus 1 that is equal to root 5 nu varum Okay, so base is 2 cm, height 1 cm, and we draw the root 5. So, how do we do it? Now, we draw the root 5. So, now, we have to do the base 2 cm, and we have to do the base 2 cm. So, we have to do the base 2 cm. So, we have to do the base 2 cm. This is the base 2 cm. Okay, the difference is that we draw the color. This is the base 2 cm. Okay, it is the base 2 cm. So, we have to do the base 2 cm. That's why we have 1 cm. So, we have to measure the base 2 cm. So, we have to measure the base 2 cm. Then, we have to join the hypotenuse. So, if we join the hypotenuse, we have to get the root 5. So, 2 square plus 1 square is 5. That is equal to root 5 by Pythagoras theorem. So, we have to get the root 5. Okay, so now I'm going to use the compass to use the root 5 to measure. So, this is the root 5 length. If you cut this to measure, then we cut an arc. Okay, so now we cut this arc. If you cut this arc, it's 2 and 3. So, this is root 5. Okay, so that's how we cut the root 7, root 3, all of them. We can mark the number line. Okay, so this is the representation of irrational numbers on a number line. Okay, so if we base it, we will sum it. So, now we mention the number line in the number line. Okay, that's all.